It's Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. I was working on my website. Um, I'm working on this narrative where I try to kind of give it a sort of a snapshot as to what I was dealing with between 2017 and 2018, uh, which I call the year in the life. So my intent was to copy down as much as I into into a text file, um, as much as I could from my journals about my physical symptoms. Um, I was leaving out some stuff, mostly stuff about airplane observations and things like that. Um, and it opens up with some, you know, links to visual, you know, as I have more time to work on this, I can put more visual supplements into this. And I'm getting some types of attacks to my chest and, you know, who knows what now. I just feel weird. Um, <clears throat> I want to get out of here so bad. I want to stop being attacked and attacked night and day now. It just sucks. Um, so I put a, there's a playlist here, a couple, you know, individual videos showing marks from these weapons. These marks show up in a matter of seconds. Um, and a playlist of videos and this, this playlist is what I came here to show specifically. So, the playlist is titled, Visible Injuries from Microwave Weapons. I think it's probably one of my older playlists. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's probably a couple years old, at least. But it's been altered. So it's one of my playlists that have been altered. Um, and I'm assuming that's by the FBI or representative of the FBI, somebody who's working with the FBI. So it's come up twice. I don't know if I did that, but sometimes I'm noticing my windows are opening up twice when it's talking about this is an this is linked to assassinations. So um, what's really coming through is that the misdiagnoses, misdiagnoses are linked to assassinations. The medical cover-ups are linked to assassination. Uh, you know, this is tissue damage. There's no, there's nothing good to be come from this. Um, what I wanted to say was this list has been rearranged. So there's a couple of my playlists that have been rearranged in weird ways. Um, or in ways to show relationships. So, for example, there was a playlist where I was trying to show um, some machinations to my ability to communicate with a phone um, through t uh, Metro um, PCS, it was called at the time, it was a T-Mobile branch. And um, I was getting sold phones that were really, really uh, rigged up with all kinds of sabotage, um, you know, phones that would go on in night mode and not go off, phones that wouldn't make phone calls, phones that wouldn't go on the internet, phones that wouldn't, the cameras wouldn't work. I mean, it's all the same phone basically, but everything just doesn't work. Um, I had a playlist about all of that that got mixed up and it's got so much stuff mixed up in it. I think it was it, you know, int intended to make me look crazy. So there's this going to be this intent to frame me as mentally incompetent one way or the other, crazy is a big one, but um, crazy is probably the main one because I'm not stupid, but they're going to make me seem stupid by using these weapons to affect my brain. And they're going to make me seem crazy to, by using these weapons to affect my brain and, um, and by invading my privacy and making my private expressions public, which is unacceptable. Uh, in this case, what's going on, I think they're showing relationships. So 
when I'm going through this playlist, and I left this like this for a while because I wanted to make sure that I didn't you know that I at least noticed what was going on. So here I'm noticing it. So we have all these videos showing injuries. Um, then there's a video here titled Aunt Marge Famous Blue Raincoat. Then there's Aunt Marge Famous Blue Raincoat Part 2, picture of Jimi Hendrix, and then Aunt Blue, Mar Aunt Blue Marge Famous Raincoat. So now you know why Marge Simpson has blue hair in The Simpsons. It's Aunt Marge's Famous Blue Raincoat. Um, So one, two, one. So one and two, when it's 12, the hangman and one being the magician. Um, so this, there's a framework around me of a game and it appears that the, the goal of the game is for the person in our position, which I don't know if there's a single number attributed to it, but one of the numbers is nine. Um, or six, right? Is the six is the lovers being held captive. Um, nine is six inverted. Um, so I think what nine is is maybe trying to find your way out of the wilderness, sort of like you know, <laughs> as Madonna sang about, like a virgin. So using the the lamp, the seal of Solomon, that you know, understanding what's there partly by what's missing. Um, to find your way out of the wilderness. So that's the, inverting the six into the nine. Anyway, um, the idea is that you're supposed to eventually become one, and then the whole game turns over, and then I think the person in the position of the hermit or the lovers then becomes the magician, and then supposedly the whole thing flips around and some somebody else is chosen as the lovers, which is what shouldn't happen because, I mean, not without some serious 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 looking into this because of how bad you know what that means which is the magician seems to have back room shadow government authoritarian power over systems like police and I mean it's gotten to the point where it's police judicial um, schools churches hospitals you know all these places that are supposed to be operating independently under you know independent rules under rules of ethics and laws and things like that and all of this stuff is just subverted completely in favor of this human trafficking scheme that's centered by this so <clears throat> this is just not something there uh, there's no room for this in a modern world situation and whatever extent it fit into a medieval, say, situation, it would have been a very different looking world. A lot fewer people, more homogenous, um, more magic oriented, less science oriented, less literate, um, no internet, no storage of materials, you know, no tapes, no digital files, no cloud, no drone warfare, you know, um, things would have been, no telephones even, no, no public, no trains, no cars. It's a very different world. So sometimes things need to be, you know, reassessed as things change around us. And this is certainly one of those things that needs to be reassessed. Oh my God. Um, so what I think this is showing here is Aunt Marge, famous blue raincoat, is linked to all these injuries. And whether it was my Aunt Marge or whether it's the famous blue raincoat, um, blue raincoat, I believe, is linked to the FBI protection. So, um, then we have these things, Acura and Microwave Attacks, I don't remember, this wasn't that long ago.
but I don't remember why or if I put this video onto this playlist. Um, then there's FBI Twitter banners. I, you know, I don't remember putting this onto the playlist either, and if I did, it's only because I, I was prompted from another source, because I, I wouldn't have normally intuitively put this video onto this playlist. And then this one here, I said government car directory. I can't even remember what that one was. March 3rd, 2020. Oh, yeah, so this was a file on my desk called government car, which would have pictures of a car with a you know, government license plate, but instead what was in here is pictures of people like Andrew Lopez, uh, Family Gun, George Floyd, Jason Moore, and then a picture of somebody's lungs allegedly damaged by COVID, but what could have been damaged by frequency-based weapons. So this was all this stuff, this stuff appearing in this government car file. Somebody else did that to show relationships. So the idea is the car is incentive for all kinds of mayhem, and the FBI is linked to that. So here's the FBI government car. So that's what that's what it's showing is that this stuff is either done directly by people if they they aren't directly employed by the FBI, they're being paid or being um, incentivized through the FBI programs that distribute these cars. And Aunt Marge is linked to the FBI. My Aunt Marge, I believe, is a serial killer. Um, Red go-go boots. So the idea of the red and the blue working together is something that's really common. The red, blue, like I said, they're both linked to heraldry, but um, the blue is also linked to, seems to also be linked to government, police kind of things, and hospitals. So my Aunt Marge is a nurse. Um, I don't know whether this actually fits into the visible injuries from microwave weapons playlist or not. Um, I might take it off, but I think it was put here to show that she's linked to it. And the FBI is linked to it. So the things that the FBI is doing are things that are intended to harm me, damage me. They're not respectful of my body at all, my physical being. So. The evidence is pointing to the FBI wanting to kill me and my family. These things here, what I'm calling twin marks, they're things that just showed up on my skin. They're not serious injuries, they're just bruises, but what they are, you know, this is kind of showing this idea that they're linking these assassinations to me, even though I personally have nothing to do with them. And so as best I can see, um, what's going on is the you know, these people who already want to be assassins have just simply glommed onto this program around us that supposedly these were maybe probably checks and balances of some sort. <clears throat> I don't know. They gave people the ability to police allegedly on my behalf, but in, instead what's happened is I've just been kept captive and used as an excuse to um, run an assassination program and then blame it on me as if I'm the one calling for these things to happen. <clears throat>